Hello and welcome to Kismet Rising. Uh, today I'm coming to you with your weekly oracle card guidance and I'm using the Madame Andorra uh, fortune cards. And we have three options. They are stones. It's this one or this one here or uh, this one here. All right, so uh, take a moment, make your selection and you can go down to the description box below where you'll find your timestamp. As always, I'm going to go ahead and begin with the option number one and give the cards a shuffle. So for those of you who've chosen the first option here, the question we're asking today is, what is it that you've come here to hear? What is it that you need to hear right now? Okay, so it's this one. The card we have here is the king. And the caption is authority and diplomacy. So I feel that here you are being called to act as the king. To act as the king in terms of taking into account all the, the needs of people around you. Uh, of your subjects, so to say. Um, taking into account what is the best for all involved, to use diplomacy um, in in your actions, to, but most of all to understand from everyone else's perspective as well as your own and look at what would be the best course of action for everyone involved and then make a decision as to how you should act um, and also act fairly here. You call to ask to act fairly. You also call here to take authority in the situation. You call to take charge in the situation and to act as if you were the master appointed in your situation. So if you were at all feeling like the victim of your situation or feeling powerless in any way, you're called upon to act as you are the boss of your situation, basically, that you are in charge here that you have the com complete authority over your life and your domain and what is going on around you and to act in fairness as far as that is concerned. But to take charge, to not let the ball slip, uh, to let the buck stop with you, um, as the saying goes, or, or simply to, to take action uh, because here action is required and it's required that you act not aggressively or not uh, tyrannically or not in a manner that is, you know, thinking where you are letting go of the power, where you're abdicating from the power by assuming that you have no responsibility or that you don't have access to that power, but rather to take charge and to actually um, be authoritative in this manner, be, be the one who makes the decisions, take everyone's needs into account or everything into account, Look at the consequences of what your actions are going to be and determine whether your, the consequences are going to be beneficial for all concerned. And from there, you will be able to make your decision. So I feel that this message is fairly simple and forthright today. If this does not include other people or this has nothing to do with other people, it's basically asking you to become the king of your own life here, to actually take charge of your own life and to work in, in the way in which you would if you were the authority in your life, if you were the highest order if you're on your in your life, what would you do? If you felt for one single moment that you have complete control and power over your life, you know, how would you act? And take a moment to actually feel what that feels like uh, before you can act. Because whatever you're dealing with right now, you have complete, it's within your domain, it's within your your field of control you can actually change the course of events or you can actually manage the course of events to your to whatever suits you as long as everyone else here is benefiting as well okay so that's your uh, message for this week uh, from the cards for those of you who've chosen uh, this stone here for those of you who've chosen this stone here we're going to give the cards a shuffle and we are asking, uh, so just a quick look at this stone here. All right. Um, so we are asking, what is it that you've come here to hear today? What is it that you need to hear at this moment? What is it that you need to know at this moment? OK, 
Okay, it feels like this one here. I do believe I've also picked up this card before for this channel. And the card that we have here today is called the Caduceus. And the caption reads, you will receive news from afar. Okay. So um, this card represents a message. It represents a message in this context. And the Caduceus here represents that which is flying to you, that which is arriving at your doorstep. It also represents here um, the, the something that is ordained for you. It's like a kind of divine um, sense of something basically coming your way. And it's, it's like it's got the divine stamp on it, that it's okay, that it's actually, it's for you. All right. So whatever is coming your way right now, whether it be love, or whether it be a message, or whether it be an offering, a contract, um, a job offer, um, an offer to move into a different place or to move house, it is, it has, a, it's ordained, it's got a spiritual stamp on it, and it's something that you can trust at this moment. Accept it with blessings, accept it uh, as if you are blessed, and take it into your life. And of course, take all the precautions that you need to at the moment or take care, you know, in signing documents and, um, you know, use logic as well. But what it, what this card is saying to you is that whatever is coming your way right now is actually, it's got that spiritual stamp. It's got that divine stamp. It's in your best interest. So go for it and don't hesitate. All right. There's a mo another message here uh, that's behind this card, which I'm trying to I just need a moment to feel it. Okay, for some of you, this is something that you've been waiting for for a very long time. And this card, um, I'm, I'm, I keep seeing the Two of Cups from the Rider White deck, uh, which basically has a, a symbol of a caduceus in the background with two people, a man and a woman, exchanging a uh, chalice. And... Basically, it's the kind of exchange of love and it's exchange of love or friendship, actually, or even a business partnership in, um, uh, yeah, in, there's in there's a kind of an equal a sense of equanimity between the two people. And here I'm feeling that that is not the meaning of this card, but uh, it reminds me a little bit of that. But what I'm hearing is that for some of you, you might actually be, uh, this is love coming to you. This is uh, love uh, love coming to you. So if you receive like a kind of uh, message, whether even if somebody has sent you a direct tweet or sent you uh, some kind of email in which they've CC'd you uh, onto something else w with some other people, if you receive this message and you're inclined to believe that this is something, there's something more to this and it's from somebody that you care about or you think that they have a crush on you or they think that, you, you know, you think that they may be interested in you, then it's actually it's true. It is actually a message from them that's coming to you, which is in, which is kind of signaling um, this attention in your direction it's signaling this love that's coming your way uh, they may not take a particular action in this regard um, they may just be asking you how you are or, or or as i said ceasing you on something you know in an email um, or including you on something or sending you an invite to something but there's something more to this it's something that's actually uh, basically um, yeah, there's something more to this. It's some, there's, if you feel that there's something more to it, there, there is something more to it. This, this card is confirmation of that. And it's, for me, it also feels like even if nobody contacts you, uh, if the person that you're thinking about is not contacting you, 
in terms of love, there is a love that's returning to you. There is a love that's coming to you. And I feel that this person has not necessarily been in your life before as a lover. They may have been just somebody that you've met and that you actually haven't had a relationship with. But it seems that this person is actually returning to your life. And uh, there's not going to be some kind of grand offering of love or anything like this. But this is a signal of something that's about to grow and love that's about to bloom. I just want to see if there's any other meaning to this card. I'm also hearing here that, you know, you you might be uh, having strange kind of experiences recently. Perhaps you're waking up at odd hours or you have... Uh, been feeling something that's quite different to what you normally feel and you've been asking yourself what does it mean or what is this saying to you if you are one of these people then this is something what they're saying is that these are divine messages that are coming your way and pay attention to them and uh, hear what is coming your way or try to understand it or allow it to kind of just go over you uh, and 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 have that experience allow the experience to be because this is something that uh, is is a message that's coming to you from afar it's a message that's coming from you from somewhere else from from somewhere uh where you need to hear this you need to actually understand this it's as if there is some thing that the divine world is trying to communicate with you and it's not that urgent or anything it's more like they bring your attention to something or they are saying well you know the, you pay attention now and for each of you it's different for some of you it's basically stating that this is a particular time in your life where um, x y and z is happening for others of you it might be referring to something that you know, where they just basically announcing their presence just to let you know that they're there. Perhaps there's something under the behind the scenes that is taking place in your life. Perhaps there's something in your health that's not very good right now. And they basically saying, well, I'm here for you. Uh, or it may be that you have some difficulties uh, with other people in your life and uh, with your immediate uh, family or, or something like this. And they're saying to you that, look, we are here. Um, and it's nothing more than that. Okay, so the, those were, you know, three different messages for this card here. And uh, for those people who have chosen this stone here, I hope that some of that has resonated with you and that some of that helps you as you go ahead. I'm going to go now on now and uh, take a look at the third message. So for those of you who have chosen this stone here, the question we're asking this week, as always, for your weekly Oracle card guidance is, what is it that you need to hear right now? What is it that you have come here to hear or that you need to hear and this is why you've come here? Okay. All right, I'm going to go with this. And the card is the raven. Okay, so this card, the caption reads, Darkness looms on the horizon. But I don't see that as this. Um, I think that in a way, it, you know, darkness can always be looming on the horizon and so can light. And it really depends on one's state of being and where one is and how one is able to navigate through that or accept that. So um, when it says that darkness looms on the horizon, I don't feel that you need to be afraid of anything. or I don't feel that you need to be concerned about anything. I feel that right now you need to be very aware of how you're going about doing things you need to be very conscious of how you are behaving in regard to your environment or how you're behaving with regard to people around you and what your attitude is if you have an attitude that's not uh, that's resistant and not really open and flowing in life you're going to feel the impact of that right now the best way to actually navigate through this energy or to work with this is basically to flow, but to be very aware, to be watching yourself, to be observing what is going on in you, how do you feel, 
and you know are you feeling anxiety or are you feeling uncertain are you are you feeling any fear are you feeling anything that makes you feel unsettled because that those kind of feelings are what's going to manifest themselves in in what's coming your way right now and you know you might have something that's coming your way that's mildly challenging but if you have anxiety and if you have fear or paranoia it's going to be exacerbated it's almost taking it to the nth power so basically what they're asking you here is to be aware to be aware of what's going on inside of you don't be vacant at this moment be very aware go down into the depths of you and understand what is actually going on with you right now. What are your true intentions? What are your true motivations? Because here you might find that your own motivations and your own intentions uh, is what's tripping you up in a way. And this is something that you might need to to examine. Okay, this is not necessarily applicable to all of you, but I do think that that is for some of you that's definitely applicable for those of you who know that this so-called darkness looms in the horizon you're expecting something negative to happen to you you're expecting you know perhaps an eviction at the end of the month or you're expecting to, to come into financial difficulty or perhaps you're expecting to come to the end of your job and you are wondering what it is what's going to happen thereafter you don't need to actually access uh, that vibration and 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 row with that you don't need to paddle those waters is what i'm hearing what you need to do is actually extract yourself from that and understand yourself in another context understand yourself as being a spiritual being and see yourself in your power and tap into that part of you which is powerful and which is really uh, connected to the rest of the world and, you know, do whatever you can right now to be able to connect to that. You know, if it means going out and walking barefoot or, or just placing your hands in the soil, I often uh, speak about this, uh, just to reconnect to the earth or, or taking a stone from the earth and just holding onto it and basically feeling the energy that comes from it. Reconnect to that part of you which is a spiritual being and that part of you which is connected to us all and in this earth and tap into that energy to be able to assist you as you go along right now because you may need some assistance from the world around you but all of what you need is also within you and you all you need to do is tap into that it's you need to channel yourself to that so it's like you know like being on a certain frequency, like on a radio frequency, and and just changing the channel to something that's a little bit more pleasant for you as you go along right now. And this situation is something that can be navigated through. It's almost like you know you are in a. It's like you're in a race, you know, like a motorbike race or something, and you've got to go around some curves, and you know there are other riders uh, which are posing some kind of danger, and you don't need to to be concerned about that. You just need to ride, you know. You need to just go ahead and ride this wave, and go right ahead, and and allow this to to um to pass you know allow yourself to get through the stage of your life and be observant as you go along you know be very focused as you go along now in the next weeks because you're going to need that focus and if you need to tap into that spiritual aspect of yourself to regain your strength to regain your power it's always there all right just go into yourself or go to the earth and tap into that power that is available to us all all right. So I hope that's been useful for you. And um, apologies if the the shot has been not in focus. I haven't been looking at the viewfinder here. Um, so I hope that that's been helpful. And I hope that you all have a wonderful week ahead. Um, yeah, do let me know if these messages are helpful. I do notice that the um, the weekly oracle guidance readings are not uh, receiving as many uh, views anymore and so I'm just wondering if you are still needing these uh, readings um, if you feel that they're not really helpful for you do comment below and let me know how you find them all right so I'm wishing you all a wonderful week ahead and blessings abound from Kismet Rising